Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to today's video. For those of you who are new, this may be your first time coming across my channel watching one of my videos, which means you are probably not yet subscribed. Welcome, my name is Tyler with an O, and for those of you who are already my people already subscribed and just returning for another video, welcome on back. Girl, we're in a rush, so we're about to get ready. Don't mind my little head scarf. I just did my hair. I'm laying the edges down, okay? Um, but I gotta put a face on a chow, and I'm in a rush, so we're just gonna hop right into it. But yeah, you already know what it gives on this channel, sis. This isn't necessarily about the makeup, but I will be doing my makeup while we talk about whatever we gonna talk about. You feel me? And I feel like I have this conversation with people a lot, just about, like, pop. Uh, and like the pop stars and stuff in general. I feel like growing up and everything, I was just very much like into the pop star. Like, you know, I was raised with the Britney Spears and the Christinas and the, and the Beyonce, and you know what I'm saying? And I feel like over time and just as a creative person myself, I really just become very like, you know, interested in the way that pop has evolved and is evolving and like the sound and all of that stuff so I feel like the best way to put it is like sports like pop to me especially when it comes to like black girls in pop it's like sports to me how other people view sports like the way that they're into it and you know they are kind of like have people that they're rooting for and teams that they support or whatever Child, you know we gotta take a moment of silence when you're doing a brow now. Especially we in a rush, so I don't got time to redo it, so I gotta get it right the first time, you feel me? Also, I feel like I have like never seen or heard my neighbors and stuff. Like it's so quiet around here and that's what I love it. And it would be the time that I'm like, okay, let me sit down and record this video. You know, let me make a video for the girls. Now, now they literally outside my window working on cars and shit. Like, girl, all right. But anyways, it don't make me no never mind. It's life. That's always been a pet peeve of mine anyway, like when YouTubers are like recording and then they're like, oh sorry if you hear my baby in the background, sorry if you can hear my neighbors, sorry if you hear my refrigerator going, sorry, girl, what are you sorry for? What are you apologizing for? I'm not sorry. I ain't sorry that you can hear shit. This is not no ASMR channel, okay? Listen, I did not promise you complete silence. I did not come promise you a lack of background noise. And better yet, what's your background sounding like? If you got a problem with hearing somebody's neighbors in the background, sis, then you need to go ahead and buy them, buy them a home, isolated in the middle of the country somewhere, so you can have all the silence you want in the background of the videos. But until then, girl, you just gonna have to deal with what it gets, cause I gotta live in it, so you can survive this however long this video is gonna be. You hear me? I do do my best of like, you know, I always put background music and stuff like that. So a lot of times you guys don't even hear the stuff that I hear, but. That's neither here nor there. I digress. As I was saying, I feel like I follow like, you know, black people in pop in the same way that like people would follow a sports team. Like, and I do mean like the team because I'm into their like, their teams, like their photographers. I'm into like the producers who are who they're working with, like who's producing their album and who's choreographing their, um, you know, their performances and stuff like that. Like I'm into all of that. Like I understand that these girls aren't just doing all of this by themselves. The reasons that we love these girls is because they have amazing teams behind them, you know? So yeah, girl, I'm with all that shit. So yeah, like who are your faves right now? And I do want to put emphasis for me it is more so the black girl. I'm just keeping it real, that's what I have interest in. I know a big name that I'm hearing a lot in pop is Olivia Rodrigo. I have beautiful gowns, I'm just kidding. I, I honestly probably couldn't even tell you what she looked like, and that's like no shade, but it's just she's not in my, I'm not her target audience. Let's just put it that way, because 
If her camp was interested in marketing to me and changing that fact that I don't know what who she is, I don't know what she sings, I don't know what she looks like, with all the access that they have when it comes to marketing and everything like that, best believe me, I would know. You know what I mean? So, but if we want to talk about, we want to talk about a Doja girl, you want to talk to me about a Chloe girl, oh, we could talk. We could talk all day. Those are my faves. I am rooting for them. I love me some Chloe Bailey and I love me some Doja Cat. You know, honorable mention to Normani because I was living for Normani, but I just feel like, I mean, and I still am. Cause I, I love her, she's sickening. But it's just as far as like, who is giving it to me right now, it would definitely be Chloe and Doja. You know, Normani, I don't know what's up with her or what is going on with her team or whatever, or what their strategy is. I'm hoping there is a strategy, but and I, I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way, but I just feel like, girl, you gotta like, you have to do something now, like what's going on? Cause especially in that like time of uh, when she released Motivation and like that video came out and then she did the performance, I think it was a VMA performance. Um, that was like a very trying time just for the general public and for her audience and everything. So I think out of respect, she like definitely like, you know, took a step back, took a break and didn't go so hard with the rollout that she was supposed to be doing for her album, I believe. But I feel like since then, she didn't really like pick up any speed. And then obviously she came out with Wild Side or whatever, and, which was sickening. You know, a lot of people have their mixed reviews about it, which honestly, on it, okay, can we talk about it? People are just like, oh, you know, I don't really think it was like that good of a song, da, da, da. Nobody's saying it's song of the year. Nobody's saying it's like, you know, the best song to ever have created. This is like an iconic, whatever. No, it, nobody's saying that. But my issue is that like people are so quick to talk about how great of a song it's not before even just acknowledging like that was sickening that was so sickening the videos was this video was sickening the choreography obviously was sickening that's like the most memorable thing about it the the looks the sound like the even like the sample of the Aaliyah beat and everything like but i feel like people are a lot tougher on the black girls and specifically like the darker girls in pop like let's talk about it but that's why like i really be rooted for her but it just kind of do make it so hard because it's like, all right, well, you know, I'm waiting for you to like her to come out. Cause I be telling people like Normani is sickening. Like she is that girl. I still very much be rooted for her. And I be telling people like, you know, I, I still keep an eye out for Normani. Gotta keep an eye out for Selena. But until then, the girls who are delivering at the moment, I don't even know who I want to talk about, Chloe or Doja. Let's, let's go into Chloe. Cause Doja, if I really want to be honest, Doja can get a whole separate dedicated video from me cause I have a lot to say about that girl. I'm not a Doja stan. I'm not really even, I wasn't even really too familiar with her, but girl, she has made a believer out of me for several reasons and with that, we gon' we gonna hold table that discussion, okay? Who I am most excited for, like new stuff from, Chloe. I keep calling her Chloe Bailey because that's just what I'm used to, but I know like her, you know, pop name is just Chloe, so I'm gonna try to respect that and call her just Chloe. But um I'm most excited for that girl. I cannot wait to see because like if you really get into her, like creatively, that girl is an artist. Like she's very, very talented. And the fact that she's like producing and writing and her, even like when she sings, the way that that girl works a scale and like her, she be like in the pocket and out the pocket, but in the pocket, like her runs and her, the way she goes up and down the scale, it's so unique to her. And so I'm very excited just to hear like where she's gonna go. And so with like, you know, interviews and press about new music and stuff coming up, she does say like, you know, it's a little bit of everything. And I believe that, like I'm very excited to see what she gives. I feel like she's very musically intelligent, musically competent. Even when she like mentions artists who like inspire her or who her faves are, or who she like, you know, grew up on listening to and everything, it's just like, yes. She's not just that young girl who don't know nothing about 
what came before her. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's very evident in the in her style, the way she sings and everything, but also her grip on what's now and also her, you know, guidance because again, she's not doing this alone. These teams, but Chloe's team, I feel like their strategy right now is what Normani's team should be doing. And I'm not even really big on like trying to put push the girls against each other, whatever. But if we're talking about teams, we're talking about peers and comparing the different strategies of this game that we call building a pop star. Let's talk about it. So you know how I was talking about how Normani kind of like, you know, she pops in and then she gone. You know what I'm saying? Like she's not like delivering consistently, whatever. Same could be said about Chloe at this point because she's really only gave us that one single, but you know, now she's she's in that bag. She's in that era or whatever. And they're gonna ride that to the wheels fall off. And that's what you do. You know, you build up the anticipation or whatever. But in her press, she's always talking about her new music. The fact that she's saying that her album is like, 80% done or 85% done or like she has so many songs and she basically at this point just trying to figure out which ones not to include it's just like that make that excites me and even with her performances you can tell the girl has it we're just not gonna we're not gonna play here she has it and if you know you the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't I feel like she right now is in like the infancy, infancy stage of it and that in itself is so exciting to me because if this girl has this much potential and she still is not even in her bag, she still, you know, she's just going with this single right now and she's still delivering, you know, so much more than the other girls in her category. And so it's just like, she's just getting started. Wait till she comes out with like a full range of work, a full body of work. Wait until she really gets to show some versatility. She's a performer, you know? And that's, I think, what my appeal with Chloe is. Obviously, she's like, you know, a sweet girl. She's very talented, this, that, and the fourth. But she can perform. I'm not saying like, oh, Chloe is the best dancer in all of the land. I'm not even saying that she's the best vocalist in all of the land. But that girl performs. She cares about her craft and it's so apparent in her work. And I love that. That's what I appreciate. And I was really not trying to bring her name up, but that's one of the things that uh, makes me like love Beyonce so much is because I feel like there's like such a dedication to the craft that I really appreciate, especially as a fan, as somebody who is going to be paying money to, you know, see you or buy your music or whatever the case might be. It just feels that much better when I know that the artist actually gives a fuck about what they're putting out. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely the most excited for Chloe. And I cannot wait to hear what she has come up with, what she's been working on. I can't wait to see because obviously, you know, these choreographers and this designers and all that other stuff can, you know, make magnificent stuff. But it's who is delivering the art to us. And so when you get put these teams with a good deliverer, Chloe. Oh, girl, she's going. I'm. She's. I know it. She is going to snatch. Everybody bald and I, I can't wait for it. I'm just very excited to see you know how it all comes together for her and what she's actually gonna give because I don't think it's gonna be like anything that we've really seen before. So now speaking of you know another performer, this is why I like Doja Cat. She delivers. And when I say delivers, I don't just mean on the stage. I mean just to me all around. Whenever I talk about Doja with people, I always say, and this is going to be my little, my little quote for her, is Doja Cat needs no features. Period. I feel like any song that she has like a feature on, in all honesty, it just could be done without. Like that song um, with Ariana, um, I Don't Do Drugs or whatever. Girl, please, you act like Doja couldn't have did that verse. Please, girl, bye. Even that uh, one song, um, I got a man when I want you. I got a man when I want you. And with The Weeknd on it, the only reason Doja should even see a feature is one, to add like a male element or like a different um, 
See, there they go. They got a whole race car outside my window, girl. We just got to deal with it. But yeah, to add like a male element, element, maybe like a deeper voice or whatever, just listen to Planet Her and listen to her versatility, man. Like, and she's weird, she's quirky, she has like She's obviously very versatile and and I'm even gonna say like the whole like racial ambiguity thing from a marketing standpoint She is marketable to so many different people She's you know like so many people can get into her her music can appeal to so many different people Her visuals can appeal to so many different people her creativity the fact that she's like quirky and she's into like You know very like I don't want to say avant-garde, but just like I mean you saw what she gives like when she was hosting uh, whatever award show she was hosting and she was dressed in all like I don't know so it's just something about her is very very different and that excites me I know I wanted to use this highlighter it's like a rose gold and so I'm thinking like maybe I can just put that on my lids and just have a shimmer no I don't like that now that I'm saying it I don't like that idea um I would be down to do an eyeshadow you know I do like a shadow girl are you gonna turn your car off or leave or what you just gonna sit there and purr off like a day okay I do want to give an eyelid so I'm going to do something very, very simple. With that being said, let me zoom, zoom you in since we about to do eyes. Okay, so for starters, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Something very neutral that I can use as like a transition shade. Oh my god, I think I might just stick with this color and then put some pink on the lid because this is sickening. Doja is very much that girl and like I'm not even, I haven't even gotten into the topic of female rap. I consider, you know, Doja Cat, you know, a pop star. She's a pop girl, she makes pop music, but she rap. I don't know if I would like necessarily put her as like you know, female rapper, she's my favorite female rapper. I don't know about that, but as far as like being a female in the industry that is rapping, she's doing it well. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. I'm just gonna take my highlighter on my finger, get that nice and coated, and I'm just going to apply that. If you want them to know it's steak for dinner, then honey, you gotta let them hear it sizzle. All right, y'all, here's the final look. Um, I gotta get out of here, so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have anything else you want to see on this channel. Also, what are your opinions on the pop girls? Comment down below, and most importantly, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of this Tyler with the No Goodness. And I'll catch you all on my next video. Peace! Girl, I'm late. I need to get out of here. Put these things in my purse. You always bring your lash glue, um, just in case. What, oh, I need my lip gloss, just in case. Um, probably not going to be doing any touch-ups. Lip gloss, lash glue. Okay, I'm good to go. All right, let's go. Bye, girl.